Prime Minister Honorable Philip J. Pierre leads a government which has taken decisive action to redevelop Port Cash Trees and the Soufre waterfront, increase St. Lucia's share of the multi billion dollar cruise tourism industry, and ensure sustainable economic expansion. On August 2, 2023, Prime Minister Honorable Philip J. Pierre and Investment Minister Honorable Dr. Ernest Hilaire, on behalf of the Government of St. Lucia, signed a landmark development agreement with Global Port Holdings, GPH. And we have to find ways to allow you to, return, to make the return on, on your investment, but we also have to find ways to make the people benefit. Then, then we must find ways for the people to benefit from these agreements. And this is the philosophical position of the government. And I, I mean, we make, we make no excuses for it. There can be no agreement that doesn't involve the people of the country where the people will benefit. And I really thank you for understanding that. St. Lucia's history with GPH date back to 2017. Previous attempts to formalize agreements with the government have been unsuccessful until Prime Minister Pierre assumed office in 2021. A memorandum of understanding was signed in October 2022. Negotiations between GPH and the government and stakeholder engagements ensued. In less than 12 months, a mutually beneficial agreement was struck. None of our destinations, be it from Vietnam all the way to Bahama, we don't have a single expat working. It's all locals. If we can't find the human resources local, we take it, we train them, and we bring them back. So that's our policy. Port Castries and the Castries waterfront are earmarked for transformational redevelopment which includes expanded berthing facilities to accommodate Oasis-class cruise ships, new duty-free and vending facilities, and the redevelopment of Bannans Bay. We certainly look forward with eager excitement to the immediate commencement of works and the implementation of the agreements. The Castries waterfront will look a lot better with a redeveloped vendor's arcade, with work on improving um, the, the boofing at Port Castries. Included also is the removal of the old customs building and a rationalization of that area, area there. Another exciting addition for me is the boardwalk that will be built from the Vendors Arcade to the San Susi Bridge. I think it would create a whole new added experience for cruise passengers. Those of us who work on the waterfront will tell you when the cruise ships are there, hundreds, thousands of visitors walk to Castries city center. And just having a, that experience along the waterfront to add will, to, to, to their experience of castles will be something special. The Soufre waterfront, although not included in GPH's original development plans, is now affixed in the final agreement thanks to strong lobbying efforts by the Minister for Commerce, who is also the Member of Parliament for Soufre for Sejan. The Honorable Emma Hippolyte. I remembered very clearly my intervention. I want to say thank you to the chairman of GPH for agreeing to include Supra in this project. I want to thank the Honorable Prime Minister for agreeing, because if he didn't agree, then the project would not have um, taken place. For agreeing to include Port Supra in this development. So today, I could remember very clearly when I approached the people of Soufre in the election, my tagline was, together, let us transform Soufre for Shejak. And I'm pleased that this project will be an integral part of this transformation of Soufre. GPH is investing more than US $40 million into the project. St. Lucia has agreed to a 30-year concession with a potential 10-year extension option for the cruise-related operation. Once completed, the project would invite greater participation in the tourism sector by more St. Lucians and also create new business opportunities for St. Lucia's tourism industry stakeholders. But I'm hoping that that experience and that development 
will more or less present itself as the catalyst for the social and economic development of the urban areas of Castries. What is behind the veil of this new development that is taking place? In 2019, St. Lucia welcomed 790,000 cruise ship passengers. The completion of the GPH development project by 2025 is expected to lead to a rise in passenger volumes to more than 1 million in the near term. Office of the Prime Minister.